An emotional tribute was paid to the Assam Rifles Braveheart at the Imphal Airport today. As Manipur Chief Minister N. Biren Singh vowed once again to bring the perpetrators to justice. A pall of gloom, meanwhile, has descended on the homes of martyred Javans who were killed in the dastardly attack in Churachandpur yesterday. We have this report. <laughs> Unexplained circumstances Shattered homes and eyes filled with emotions The visuals on your screens are from the home of Suman Swargyari One amongst the five Assam Rifles Jawans martyred in the dastardly attack in Manipur's Churachandpur district on Saturday a pall of gloom has descended at the house of the martyred Jawan, with his family members still in a state of utter shock and disbelief. Take the example of Suman's wife. Speaking to our sister channel News Life, Suman's wife, who was in a heartbroken state, said that she spoke to her husband just a few hours before the attack. Suman had called her to inquire about the progress of the construction of their new home. She said Suman was planning to come home for the birthday of his two-year-old son. However, fate had something else in store for her husband. <laughs> Worth mentioning here, the shocking incident claimed a total of seven lives, including the six-year-old son of martyred Colonel Rank Officer Viplap Tripathi and his wife at Thinghat in the state's Churachandpur district. The other Javans are Karne Konyak, R.P. Meena, Shyamal Das and Suman Swargyari. The militants first triggered an IED to lay the ambush and opened indiscriminate firing. The mortal remains of the five martyred Assam Rifles personnel was brought to Manipur capital Imphal where a wreath link ceremony was held at the airport. Earlier, the Assam Rifles put up a tribute for the deceased colonel and the four other deceased Assam Rifles Jawans. In a social media post, the Assam Rifles paid tribute to Colonel Viplap Tripathi and the Jawans for their supreme sacrifice. Even Prime Minister Narendra Modi expressed his condolence to the families of those who lost their lives in the attack. The Prime Minister wrote in his tweet, and I quote, I pay homage to those soldiers and family members who have been martyred today. Their sacrifice will never be forgotten my thoughts are with the bereaved families in this hour of sadness. Others who also expressed their anguish included Union Home Minister Amit Shah, Defence Minister Rajnath Singh. Whereas Chief Minister N. Birin Singh rushed to the Shija Hospital in Imphal, where one of the Jawans injured in Saturday's attack was admitted. 
the Manipur Chief Minister directed officials and hospital authority to provide the best medical care for the Jawan. Worth mentioning here, the PLA and a lesser known outfit, the Manipur Naga People's Front or MNPF have claimed responsibility for the ambush on the 46 Assam Rifles convoy. The attack, perpetrated months before the 2022 assembly elections, has once again come as a major challenge for the Chief Minister N. Birin Singh-led Manipur government. While it is true that the region and the country at large will eternally remember the valour of those martyred, it has now become crucial for the government to nab the militants in fault at the earliest for the sake of justice. News Test Report, Northeast Live.